Hi there and welcome to another of my how-to tutorials and in this one I'm going to show you how to use the engineering's work toolbox to create yourself a gas generator and also to create hydrogen from algae. Um, now algae can be found, uh, I think it's found in the swamp, that's where I found some, but once you have some, at least one you can, or maybe two, you can start just putting in a fresh bit of water and it spreads around just like that. So last episode I went through how to, if you look at my automatic mining one, you found out how to make modular sockets. So we're going to need a modular socket anyway. I have a couple here just in case. Uh, you can get your socket remote as well and any sort of wrench or hammer. You're going to need an item output, which is simply a dropper and a trapdoor with your blank module. You need uh, four breakers. So what we're doing here, this is how we can automatically harvest the algae. You can do this yourself, but I think this is a cool way of doing it. So you're gonna need four breakers then, which are a dispenser, an iron pickaxe, and three irons, they're pretty cheap. Uh, and then you need a block update sensor which is a weighted pressure plate light, which is two gold bars or aluminum brass. So, simple enough. Let's make ourselves a automatic harvester. You just put the four breakers on each of the sides and put the output on the top and then we just dig down and Put the block update sensor on the bottom. So what you want to do first is trigger the update sensor to be on, doesn't really matter what frequency, just make sure that you use the same as everyone else. In this one I'm using 100 and you want to put all the block breakers onto 100 as well. Next, I'm just going to grab this for a second because I forgot to get one. Next you want to change to the item one which is green and you want to put the output to any again but in this case I'm using zero and now if we put this chest on top like so we can test this out so the block update sensor on the bottom will trigger if anything happens on any of the sides of this modular socket so if I put a block here, it gets broken and pulled into the chest, which is cool. So what do we want to do with that then? Oh, sorry. So now, you, of course, you can pick these up. So let's make ourselves a small little lake that we're going to do this on. I should have got myself a shovel, but anyway. And we will put this modular socket just here in the middle. And now we're going to need some water and some algae. So you put the water in and just make the lake so it's still, it can't be flowing water. Oops. So, and then we want to put the algae just in all four corners. So the algae spreads out from the source blocks. So it will come into here, 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 or here. And when it does, the block breakers, uh, the, uh, the detector underneath will trigger the block breakers to break the algae and put it into the chest. So we'll leave that there for a second to run. Um, and let that go. So what do we do once we have the algae? Well, to convert the algae into something useful, in this case hydrogen fuel, which we can then burn in a generator or a turbine, we need to use this photo bio, bio, bioreactor. So this converts fluids and other fluids when combined with items that are sensitive to light. So in this case, it's going to take algae and water and convert it into hydrogen, which is actually a fluid in this case. So uh, the recipe for this is very simple. It's blank module, three panes, and two buckets. 
which is fine. The other things we need are the water intakes, which we've looked at before, uh, machine output and item inputs. So let's uh, just create this here. Um, I'm gonna create it over here and then we'll put it into the water in a minute. So the photoreactor has to go on top. It only works in light level 15, so it will only work really in the daytime. You could probably put some stuff on top to make it go. Put the water intakes where your water is. You can always pipe the water in either. Uh, we'll put the item input here, machine output here. It doesn't really matter. So we need to set the photoreactor to take in items from zero, take the items in from the input on zero. And then you need the water, which we're going to set to zero as well. And it's so it's mixing the water input and the what we're going to put the algae input, and then it needs to output the fluid from a different tank. That's quite important. So this output now is coming out on one. So let's pick this up, put it here so it can use the water. So now it's taking the water in, so it should have water. The next step is to hook up the algae and the output. So let's take all this stuff that I have here. We're gonna just put the item ducts coming out of here. And just a lever to trigger it. So once we put the algae in here, it should come in here and start reacting with the water that we have. So then we will just grab a tank here. Uh, you can of course put this straight into your machines uh, which is the easiest way of doing it you don't need to toggle these the machine output automatically ejects so let's see if we got in any algae yet we haven't i was hoping we had okay um so i'm just gonna grab this so we can show the gas coming in so let's just put the algae in here you can see it's going down there, going down there, great stuff. And you can see it's it's turned a nice color there to show that it's working. Great stuff. So it takes, I think, 20 seconds to produce 100 millibuckets of hydrogen. So ideally the best thing to do here is you're gonna probably need a couple of bioreactors but there you go, there we go, we have a thousand millibuckets of hydrogen. So you can see it's quite slow process of growing this um, algae. So what you can do to increase your algae production is, which I've hidden over here, make a couple of these and just put them all together and you could do this. Look at that. So this thing pumps out algae, you can see. I can actually take some of this and bring it back over. But uh, and let me just get up higher there so I can show you exactly this. It's very simply a load of those put together with some, uh, I'm using item ducts, but of course you can use anything you want to transport. So this is grabbing all this stuff. You can see there's more coming in. It's just pumping that in, so that's pretty good. So we have a fairly good source of algae over there. And uh, we just, we can just... So this thing should run for ages and just keep pumping out the hydrogen. So now we have hydrogen. What do we do with this hydrogen? Well, if we look here, obviously, we're gonna need somewhere to store our power. So I'm just using the energy cell there, but you can use other things. Um, we need a modular socket, obviously. We need an energy output and a fluid input. And I'm just gonna use this creative tank of hydrogen that I have here. Now there's two items in engineer's toolbox that can produce energy from, um, from the gas. So there's the generator and the turbine. The turbine is kind of the lower class one. Uh, it generates 10 uh, RF per tick. And uh, no matter what gas you put in it, and it runs for 80 ticks 
or four seconds um and that's so it's pretty pretty it's all right but the generator now the generator outputs a variable amount so if you're using hydrogen which is what we're going to be using um if you put one uh, 1000 millibuckets will give you 60 RF per tick which is six times the amount of the turbine and it will run for 500 ticks so it is a lot better than the turbine so we're going to use this the glass generator instead of the turbine so this is actually all you need for this which is really cool so let's just quickly hook this up here um, generator energy output fluid input um, we just hook that there uh, so we need to just assign everything to be on the same fluid input. So the generator and the input are on the same. And then we just put the creative tank up here and set it to output. And away it goes. So you can see the RF on the socket is filling up. And once it gets full, it will stop. So to make a continuing pumping. There you go. So this is filling up our energy cell just like that. Now, so this is only using one millibucket every 500 ticks. So this thing is gonna keep going a long time. So we're probably gonna be creating a lot more gas just from a single photoreactor even. Yeah, we've 8,000 millibuckets there and we still haven't even used one. Ah, this thing finally made some algae. So what we're going to actually have to need to do is probably have a lot more of these generators. So uh, this is kind of a cool one here. So instead of using the item inputs and the energy outputs, we're going to use multi inputs. Now these things can take all sorts and at the same time they can take items, energy, and fluid all at the same time input and output and then we're also going to need a load of gas generators so in exactly like the, what we just did there we're going to put the output here the input here and the generator here so we'll fluid in there and we need Oh, no, sorry, we don't need to set sockets for anything else. But what we do want to do is we're also going to set these things to output the fluid. So if we have a line of these things, the fluid can come in here, but then it can also output there and basically go the whole way around. And at the same time, this will also be taking all the energy generated and pumping it along to the end. So now I've created a couple of these. So we can hook them all up. So let me just grab all these. Now I was using these, so these may have some fluid and stuff in them, but uh, so we're gonna hook them all up here. Now, on the end of the row here, you can keep going in a row, obviously, but uh, on the end of the row here, I've put an item, a an output on the bottom as well. And on this one, I've also put it on the top. So now, we can go along the bottom and do the same thing. Except to the end one. Let's go put that there. So now, we can just put all these along here. Uh oh, I think I missed one. This might be hooked up right now. That should be okay, actually. So let me grab this uh, gas here. And just 
get up here and put the fluid duct there and the tank there and activate the tank. So as you can see, they're all already full because I was using them earlier. So if we grab this energy cell, we can put the energy cell, well here or here, it doesn't really matter, but we'll put it here. And you can see they're all activating. And you can see this is filling up at quite a rate. And you can just put a few more of these on. And these things aren't the most expensive things in the world. Uh, I forgot I didn't look at the recipes there. So the turbine is a bit of iron, bit of redstone. That's about it. And the generator is... It's just a furnace and a PSU with a bit of iron. So they are not the most expensive things in the world. The multi outputs I think are a bit more expensive but yeah so you have to have one of each of the inputs for the multi input and one of each of the outputs for the multi outputs but if you want you can just pipe it up as well I was just kind of trying to use as much as possible so there you have it um, we have a ton of automated algae production which is pretty cool looking um, we can hook that directly up to our photo generators and we can may probably make a couple of different photo generators. Uh, this thing is 22 on it now. That's pretty amazing. So this is just pumping out the hydrogen. And then once we have the hydrogen, we just burn it in our generator. And we make lots of power. And you can have as much of these as you want. Making lots and lots of power. That's almost full. Well, sorry, it's not almost full. It's still quite a while. But anyway, that's all for now. So, uh... I hope you learned something there, so uh, see you later.